I'm going to put some bacon that I cut up into this pan and we're going to make the best shrimp dish I've ever eaten. Man, I've been wanting to make this for a long time and I lost my recipe. And I finally found it. So anyway, the first thing we're going to do is fry up four pieces of bacon. My bacon is pretty much cooked up. It's gotten fairly crispy. And I'm going to add spices. Now, I've always used dried spices for this. So here's a half a teaspoon of basil. Half a teaspoon of oregano. And two garlic cloves. I'm going to throw those in there. And I always add like a fourth a teaspoon of thyme. I didn't have any, so I went outside and got some of my thyme. I'll throw that in there. We need some uh, chili powder. Now I just use normal everyday chili powder, a teaspoon and a half. Stir that into the fat. Get it all those spices kind of hot. And I add two tablespoons of a whole grain mustard that's kind of like Dijon mustard. I'm using that kind. A Dijon mustard's perfect. Throw that in. And we need to melt in two sticks of butter. It's like, I don't know, 225 grams? Quite a bit. We're also going to put in some Louisiana hot sauce and some Liam Perrin's Worcestershire. And let this melt down. Butter is all melted and it's bubbling away. That's the way you want it to be. I'm going to add two bay leaves. And those white pieces are the garlic that are just marinating in there. And I'm going to add some um, concentrated shrimp and crab boil. I'm just going to add a capful, which is like a teaspoon and a half. Put that in there. We're going to let this bubble for five minutes. This is gone for five minutes. I'm going to turn the heat off. And uh, I only have one pound of shrimp here. The sauce that we made is enough for uh, two pounds of shrimp, actually. I'm pour this in there. Sorry, I'm kind of recording from the wrong side. I apologize. Please excuse me just for a second. Okay, we got that in there. We have that in there. And I like to put it in as small of a dish as possible to where the butter and everything really comes up high on everything. And Now this is going to go in my 375 degree oven. I'm going to bake it for about 20 minutes. I'm going to stir it around two times. Add a little pepper too. It kind of slipped my mind here right before I put it into the oven and move it around. There's that garlic. I kind of want to bury that into my 375 degree oven. Okay, it's out of the oven. Let's dish some up. This is enough for two people. I'm using 1820 or 1620 shrimp. So you each get about nine shrimp. Make sure you get some juices and some bread for the juices. This is great with corn on the cob. And my shrimp are also um, um, easy peels, so it's easy to peel them and eat them, deveined, and. Uh, I'd eat this in front of you, but it's like so messy, and it's just one of the best things I've ever made, and I hope you try it, and thanks so much for watching.